Well, hello. I didn't quite see you there. I was just trying to breathe in the London air. Apparently, the carbon monoxide helps your testosterone levels. My name is Jason Alden. I'm here for Voodoo Unicycles Tutorials. And me and Simon are going to teach you how to catch a crank flip. People say to me, Jason, when you're not doing your community service, show us how to catch a crank flip, and I always deliver. That is to flip the cranks, catch them with your feet, not hands, in a street environment, thus allowing you to land the trick. We'll be taking this trick from its humble beginnings. <laughs> we'll be taking this trick from its humble beginnings as a flat ground crank flip teaching you all the skills you need to know to take it down some mad street stair sets. Catching crank flips not only looks better, but it makes it far easier to land the trick down a stair set or a ledge. So it's about time you learn. So one of the first things you're going to want to learn to get the feel is catching no footers. That's doing a no footer, pulling the unicycle towards you so that you catch it in the air. As you can see here, Simon's showing you how not to do it. Try not to jump over the unicycle. Try and jump up and then pull it up and slam down on the pedals at the same time. It's a very, very similar feeling to catching crank flips just without the flip itself. Another technique that's going to help you get that feeling for catching crank flips is a jump mount and the flip jump mount. With the jump mount, it couldn't really be simpler. All you're wanting to do is jump in the air and make sure that you land on the pedals before the wheel touches the ground. That's very important. Pull up on the saddle and slam down on the pedals. Go. With the flip jump mount, you're doing exactly the same thing. You're just giving the tire a push so that it flips the cranks around. Most importantly, pull up and slam down on the pedals. Make sure that you land on the pedals before the unicycle lands oh, on the ground. Yeah, yeah. The next thing you want to try is a foot plant flip and catching that early. That's going to really help yeah, you get the feel for again pulling up and slamming down on the cranks whilst doing a flip. You're going to ride up to an obstacle at steady speed. You're going to spot your landing. You're going to hop up, do a flip, put your foot down, pull up and then slam down on the pedals. Really going to give you a feel for what it feels like to catch yeah, a flip in midair. So there you have the three main exercises that you can practice that's going to help you refine your catch flip technique. One of the most important things to remember throughout performing all of these is to not jump above the unicycle like you saw Simon do in the first no footer. It's really important to pull up and to slam down and keep that unicycle as close to your body as possible. This is going to be particularly pertinent when it comes to catching crank flips themselves. So, like some crazy old kung fu master that's got you painting his fence and washing his pants and buying him fish fingers while he's secretly teaching you to become a trained killer, if you can get through these somewhat boring exercises, you'll be well on your way to landing the big daddy that is the caught crank flip. So let's get on to it. Let's catch a real life crank flip. Find a bench or a ledge preferably with a grassy landing like there isn't in this shot and think about the following things height, speed, pull and slam it's important to jump off the obstacle and not just roll off it flip fast, the crank should make a full rotation before you start descending pull up on the handle Spot the pedals and slam down hard on them with your feet, just like we've practiced. Here's Simon's flip. To get that height, sometimes it can be helpful to imagine flipping over something. Now this is where Simon's technique differs from mine. As you'll see, he actually does more of a one foot rev, and so he can actually flip the cranks really fast. Again, it's still really important to flip them fast. He is still pulling up and slamming down, it's just a little bit different from the way that I do it. Some people say that if you can do doubles down sets, that's going to really help you. It's definitely going to help you with the speed element. So maybe try and catch a double down a set, and you never know, next time you try the single, it might be a lot easier. So it's as simple as that, really. Get out there and go and catch your flips. I don't want to see any sloppy, non-caught 
flips from here on and I've been Jason on for Facebook just search for the unicycles or feel free to leave a comment below the video everyone have a Merry Christmas which will sound dated if you watch this six months later